Hello best friend and welcome welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fabulous day If this is the first time you're watching my channel, my name is Sebastian and I welcome you guys with open arms I do pop culture videos every single day So if you're looking for a new messy best friend you have found me grab a snack grab a drink hit that subscribe button I would be very grateful you guys, we have to talk about Beyonce because there's a lot going on with Beyonce and something that honestly, I would never associate Beyonce with low ticket sales, but here we are, honey. That is what people are saying. That is what's going around. So Beyonce's just coming off of her massively, massively successful European leg of the Renaissance Tour. I mean, we're talking about hundreds of millions of dollars that she has made in her renaissance tour just to give you guys an idea okay um beyonce renaissance renaissance tour box office so so far this so far in 56 hang on no no no, no, no. wait wait a minute honey we, we're gonna do europe first so the Renaissance Tour has grossed over $154 million in just 21 shows in Europe, you guys. That's it. I mean, in 21 shows, she has literally sold, or she has made $154.4 million, okay? That is a shit ton of money, bitch, okay? Um... Listen, so this is happening right now. Um, Beyonce is now arriving to the States for her Renaissance tour. Now you have to understand something. A lot of people actually went to Europe to see her there because they found tickets to be a lot cheaper than they were here in the States. Well, uh, a um, pub, what is it called? A statement from the... Arkshire Stadium, where she was supposed to perform on August 3rd in Pittsburgh, released a statement stating, due to production logistics and scheduling issues, unfortunately, the August 3rd Pittsburgh stop of the Renaissance World Tour will not be taking place. Refunds will automatically be issued at point of purchase. If you have any questions or issues regarding your ticket order, please contact your point of purchase. Beyonce's news that came out today has a lot of people talking and actually it is being stated that tickets were not selling, you guys. Allegedly, tickets were not selling. Um, but there's two sides. You have to understand there's two sides to everything. So some people are saying that the tickets were not selling and that is why they decided to cancel because it would be it would it would make more sense to cancel than to continue and you know perform for alleged an empty you know stadium right but when i read this the first time and i was seeing that a lot of people were stating that tickets were as low as 50 dollars that you know beyonce was not selling a lot of people were saying that because the album is celebrating you know gay culture and everything that that is why um, she is not, you know, selling. There's been a lot of things thrown at this. But for me personally, Sebastian, it does not make sense because Beyonce is Beyonce, right? I would never think that Beyonce cannot sell a stadium tour. So I did my research and I found, I found a, a, a comment from somebody, which I don't know if this is true or not, but it says the Renaissance date on Pittsburgh was 99.25% sold and it was months away. It was going to be sold out just like every single show. The tour success is triggering a lot of people and it's completely normal since Beyonce's longevity is unprecedented. So listen, um, right now from this news that came out of Beyonce and, you know, the alleged rumors that she was not selling the Pittsburgh Stadium, some people are now going head to head. So now you have the Swifties, Taylor Swift fans, and Beyonce, because right now, of course, Taylor Swift is in the biggest, you know, tour ever right now. And there's sort of this like competition that has been made from fans 
of who is going to sell the most, who is having more success. Taylor Swift fans are saying, you know, Taylor Swift would never, she's never, she's only canceled one concert in 17 years. And here Beyonce is due to scheduling and stage production and blah, blah, blah. When in reality, it's, you know, due to the venue not selling, the concert not selling. If I'm going to be honest, what I think is happening is that this rumor was just made up to like make Beyonce look bad. I just don't think it's possible for Beyonce not to sell a stadium. Now, I, I've, I've, I've gone through all of the comments um, and everybody kind of agrees that this is literally um, like a, a made up, you know, a made up rivalry between... Um, between what you call it between Taylor Swift fans and uh Beyonce fans and the issue here is though that it's being alleged that the tickets were literally being sold at $50 and that's also raising a lot of eyebrows because people are saying that Beyonce was literally like kind of desperate to sell but I I, I truly think that Everything is taken out of like, you know, it's, it, it doesn't make sense to me. And if you if you look at this picture I'm going to put right here, it says here that it's, it, it's affirming to the comment I read earlier that it's 99.25% sold out. And you guys can see all of the other dates. They're around the same 99, 99, 92, 99, 99, 99. So basically... I'm going to debunk this rumor and I'm going to say it's a fucking lie, girl. I just don't see how Beyonce would not be able to sell an album. And, you know, we have um, we have the Taylor Swift and Beyonce fans going head to head. Then we have the other rumors starting that it's because she is, you know, celebrating gay culture. And um, I even read a comment that says, go woke, then you go broke, something like that, that no wonder people are not celebrating or supporting Beyonce anymore. Um, listen, I think that right now the three biggest artists in the whole world touring wise is Harry Styles, Taylor Swift, and Beyonce. I think that um, touring wise because there's also a lot of um, a lot of uh, what you might call it a lot of rumors stating that Beyonce is very successful on tour but airplay and streaming, she isn't that successful like people want her, you know, are trying to make her out to be. But I just feel like, look, I've seen a lot of these concerts in Europe. I've seen a lot of clips and Beyonce puts on a fucking show. That's for damn sure. And I love the fact that she's celebrating her uncle, that she's celebrating gay culture, that she is somebody so powerful that can spread a message of love, a message of, you know, showing different talents, showing different um, backgrounds, you know, not being afraid to stand for what's right and, and, and standing for just love. And I love that about her. And plus, I love that she brings out Blue Ivy to perform power. Also, um, listen, I'm also a Taylor Swift fan. I'm a, I'm a both fans. I just, you know, girl, Taylor Swift fans, Beyonce fans, stop going head to head, girl. Your, your favorites, they're earning bajillions of dollars every single night. They are good, okay, honey? They're both successful. They're both massively successful tour artists. And that's it. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Do you believe the rumors that she is not selling out her, her tour here in the States, or do you believe it's made up from people who want to see Beyonce look in a bad light? Let me know in the comments. I love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.